Hello and welcome guys. Today we are going to discuss about Docker. It's an interesting topic. So please stay tuned till last so that you can learn how to implement Docker with Visual Studio. So today I am going to use Visual Studio and Docker Desktop and Postman. Postman is optional. You can use browser to check your APIs. So before moving into Docker practical, so let's see what is Docker. Docker is a set of platform as a service product that use OS level virtualization to deliver software in package called containers. Okay. Docker allocates to read write file system to the container as its final layer. So any kind of container can be allocated within the Docker. This allows to running the container to create or modify files and directory to its local file system. Docker creates a network to interface, network interface to connect the container to the default network, which you did not specify networking option. It by default is created a network interface. So for today, you need to install this docker desktop for your windows and please go through this particular article of microsoft document i'm giving this link in the video description also both of the link so let's open visual studio and do the implementation of docker So I am using Visual Studio 2022. Create the new project. So I am creating a new project here. .NET Core Web API 6.0. So .NET Core Web API 6.0. Click on Next. Let's say I am giving. Container app. Click on next. Here I am not keeping HTTPS using controller and using open API or swagger, swashbuckle. Click on create. I am going to give this source code after this completion of video in the video descriptions. It which previously it was on different site. Now I am keeping in Google Drive so you can directly download from there. So it will take few seconds to create the project. Okay. Without doing anything, let's run this and see what we are getting. After installing this Docker desktop, you will get this complete applications. So these are the Docker images. So I have enabled Kubernetes, which is going to I am going to discuss about about in next videos or next session. So that's why these are the coming, or else this will be only two images by default. It's their system images. So. This must be running, so you can see here engine is running and here Kubernetes is running. So, for Kubernetes, please wait for my next session. So, you can see application is got running. So, if we go to try it out, execute. So, this is the our endpoint or the URL. We can go to Postman, we can create here and also see the port number is 5121. Okay, now let's open Visual Studio stop the application and implement the containerization okay so for this let's go to tools new get package new get package for solution here i'm going to install a new get package which is called microsoft visual studio azure container tools target 
ओके क्लिक ऑन इंस्टॉल द वेरी फ्यू स्टेप टू इनिशियलाइज द डॉकर एंड रन ए सिंगल कंटेनर और सिंगल एप्लीकेशन सो प्लीज फॉलो द वीडियो प्रॉपरली एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज गिव मी अ लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सो यू कैन सी आवर डॉकर न्यू गेट इज इंस्टॉल so let's build the application to check thing is working fine made succeed let's go to solution explorer right click on the application or your project r so you can see docker support if you click on r it will ask for the target operating system currently i am using windows so i click on okay windows so it asking that docker host is running on linux however the packet the package the project is windows do you want to switch i want to switch click on yes so it will switch the daemon actually now again go to the solution explorer right click on the pro project r container orchestrator support docker compose click on okay i am selecting windows it will ask me again for uh, the container daemon okay save this application look however docker compose pro project is windows do you want to switch yes so it got let's build the application and see everything is okay or not so now it is two project actually so you can see doc container app and my project here container app also having the same file as my project so here docker compose the different project so it is build succeed let's upon terminal so here you can see you can write terminal so our terminal has open so this is the docker file actually it's created by default it for the which port we are exposing and what is the path of our project and what is the working directory and if it is published and from where it is published it will publish from my cs project file okay let's open this right click container containing folder so you can see this is container app inside this docker file is created right so I need this name actually now. What will be your studio? So in the terminal section, it, it will open this particular windows. So here you can write so before creating our image, we can check what are the image present in our Docker container. So Docker images. So you can see Docker images. These are the by default images are on the Docker installation and Kubernetes installation. Kubernetes installation. So these are two user defined Hello Docker and Hell V1. So these are two user defined Docker container. So now go to our developer PowerShell, clear the window. Here we can write Docker build hyphen path path is container app slash docker file this particular file path hyphen tag hyphen giving youtube docker v1 and the tag is version 1 click on ok name must be lower case so i missed something space dot let's see what the error coming 
let's write it down docker build hyphen tag so conversion one hyphen path container of docker file so now it's building so i little bit did a wrong first tag then path folder path or the file path so you can see now it is loading it will take one minute two minute depending upon the scenarios or in machine configuration so we have given docker u2 docker so let's see docker images so now you can see yt docker version v1 it is added to our docker images to run this let's clear the screen first cls command to run this we can write docker run hyphen it hyphen rm hyphen p the port number redirection and our image name so image name is to docker v1 let's hit the enter so you can see now it is running on 8080 so if we go to our postman here we are running from the port number 5.21 which is the visual studio running form now if i am going to hit so it is giving me not not found but in visual studio we already configure in our developer power cell to run on 8080 port so let's go to postman change the port number to 8080 send it right so in this way we can containerize or dockerize our web application so here I saw a dotnet core web api 6.0 application to stop this you can see control just go to your mouse in developer powershell control c the application is shutting down after this if i try to run now it also not found to run again again we can hit docker run so in this way we can implement docker with visual studio 2022 guys If you like my channel or like my video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you very much.